on Cambayas, hundreds of educators, parents, and students rallied at the Roundhouse this afternoon, delivering their own version of the I Have a Dream speech to legislators. News 13's Katie Kim is live at the state capitol with more. Kim, educators say they've seen deep cuts for the last three years, and they say enough is enough. Hundreds marched with signs to the Capitol and crowded inside the rotunda. Educators blame the tens of millions of dollars taken from schools for poor student performance. Now, both the Legislative Finance Committee and Governor Susana Martinez proposed their budgets in recent weeks, with cuts ranging anywhere from 30 to more than 80 million dollars for K through 12 public schools. But legislators are sure those cuts will come from administration and not the classroom. Still, educators are not encouraged. There's no way that we will have no cuts to the classroom if they cut. There is nowhere left to cut. There's been a really big lack of revenue over the last seven years that by just repealing those um, tax cuts for the wealthiest New Mexicans and for corporations, um, we could get that revenue back. Now, both the LFC and the governor's proposals call for about $30 million in cuts for higher education. Representatives from higher ed are also calling for additional funding, saying a college education should not be a luxury for the wealthy. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Katie. Now, the Albuquerque Teachers Federation is also proposing that legislators consider a 10-cent tax on liquor to free up money for education. The governor's state of the state address is scheduled to begin around 1230 tomorrow. We will bring it to you live right here on KRQE News 13. You can also see it streaming live on KRQE.com and take part in a live chat with UNM political science professor Lana Atkinson.